Uh, let's start off with some bow shots, too, just to soften him up a tad bit. All right, our first boss of the game. See, he did his charge, and he completely misses him, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, now, what we want to try and do, if we can get the mammoth to get his attention for a second... There we go. Um, then I can put some bleeds on him, but I want his attention on the mammoth, not on me. There you go, mammoth. Get some hits in. He's still pissed at me for hitting him with the bow. Welcome back, everybody, to Conan Exiles. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we have a lot to do. Um, so, yeah, old OG is uh, getting ready for his purge. Uh, it's going to happen pretty soon because I did uh, adjust the uh, settings on that. And um, so, yeah, that's going to happen pretty soon. It might even happen this in this episode. We'll have to see. But take a look at what's behind OG. He has himself a mammoth. Yeah, so uh, we put uh, both the elephants in there and one of them turned into a mammoth, which is pretty darn amazing. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is that none of our tigers are greater. They're all normal, but that's okay. We'll use them for now um, and keep working on trying to get ourselves a greater tar tiger. So, uh, yeah, um, let's go ahead and pull these critters out of here. Um, I do have a normal elephant, too, which is good because I actually want to put the uh, Terranian decorations on him. And we have a uh, what I think is a normal uh, rhinoceros, too. Uh, which we can put this stuff on him too. Um, so let's see. Yeah, mammoth. I wasn't <laughs> wasn't expecting to have a mammoth. Uh, but anyway, you can see that the purge meter is getting really close here. Um, I mean, it's not going to happen in this episode if I if I record all the way through. But if I if we take a you know a camera cut and come back later, it might. We'll see. Uh, you know how that goes. No promises because um, you know the game's going to do what the game's going to do. Uh, my goodness, we got a freaking mammoth. I cannot believe it. Look at this guy. His tusks are ginormous. All right, what is his, uh, what are, 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 rather, are his stats? So he already comes out of the box with 2,700 points, which isn't too bad. He's only got a 40% chance for strength, which isn't great, but vitality is pretty good, 70% chance. So, yeah, we'll have to see how he does. Uh, but, my goodness, we got ourselves a mammoth. That's cool. Um, it's a little smaller than, than the mammoths in the wild, but that's true for most of these pets anyways. But he's still pretty doggone big, my word. Okay, um, so let's put the elephant out, and we're going to make the, the fodder uh, for our elephant. And this uh, elephant's purpose, of course, is going to be to haul stuff for us. So he's going to look like he can haul stuff, and he is, in fact, going to be able to haul stuff. He's got lots of slots there. So let's take a look at his stats. Um, he has... Oh, he's only got 920 health. Okay, we're going to have to be careful with him, um, you know, that he doesn't uh, get hurt or anything like that. But, of course, that will improve as he levels up. Uh, we got ourselves a normal rhino, which is good because if we got anything other than a normal rhino, we wouldn't be able to put a saddle on it and ride it. So that's actually good that we have a normal rhino. Um, and then we just have uh, all of our tigers are just normal tigers. Uh, but, I mean, they're going to be good for us for now. Uh, they certainly will. And I ended up putting my back into one of my spikes. I ended up putting another taming pin down because um, I, <clears throat> I had too many and I didn't want to wait um you know for for more uh, so we're gonna pick that up, <coughs> excuse me pick that up right now actually you know what we have all this room over here maybe we should put the critter stage over here except for this is the wheel of pain now i actually made that wheel of pain i think in the last episode but i picked it back up because the purge is going to come soon and i decided that i'm not going to bother with trying to uh you know capture and tame any thralls until the purge is over because i don't want to be right in the middle of a thrall, you know, uh, taming on the wheel and then have the purge come and run the risk of potentially having the wheel ruined. That probably wouldn't happen, but it could happen. It's a possibility. So, you know, we're just going to wait just a little bit longer before we start doing the thrall thing. Okay, cool. So, a um, couple things to show you in here. Oh, we got to put these other tigers down. Let's do that now. Uh, but we, we've got ourselves a regular army now. If, if the uh, purge is an animal-based purge, you know, then I'm just going to let all my critters go to town. And we should actually try and take them out and level them up a little bit before that happens, too. So maybe that's what we'll do uh, here in this episode. I probably won't bother naming any of these guys until they get leveled and make sure that they survive. Um, 
So, all right. So, yeah, lots of things have happened in here. Uh, I have upgraded all of the furnaces to Tier 2. I upgraded the carpentry bins to Tier 2, the blacksmith stations to Tier 2, and the cauldron to Tier 2. So we got that all done. And um, everybody's just working on iron, and this guy's working on steel. These guys are working on shaped wood. These guys are working on dried wood. So, yeah, uh, we've got a lot of industry going on here. It's really good. And... Um, so what we're going to do is I've got a whole bunch of points that I've just been holding off till I started the next episode that we got to take care of. And then uh, we're going to get ourselves into heavy armor. And I think I'm going to make the slave forged armor because I really like the look of it. It's it's nor, you know, it's the same stats as the vanilla heavy armor, uh, but just looks a lot nicer. And then we're going to upgrade it, you know, with some fittings, some bulk plating to make it even better. OK, so let's deal with our points first. We're going to go in here. And I've got 292 attribute points, which is just nuts. Because um, I've just been gathering and mining like crazy. You know, my level is, what level are we now? We're 72 already. So we can start doing legendary chests, especially now that we have all these critters. Okay, so let's just start bringing this stuff up evenly. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get all of them up to the next perk, but we'll try. We'll see what we can do here. And... Um, what is the third perk? So this is slice and dice. Each light attack you do inflicts 10% more damage. This is effortless leap jumping no longer costs stamina. That's good. Fierce vitality. You gain passive health regeneration. Oh, that's really good. Okay, yeah, that's a good one to have. Okay, so let's get accuracy up to the third perk. And that gives us um, steady hands, all ranged and thrown weapons. Now do 10% more damage. Good. That'll make us better on our bow. And do we have enough points to get this one all the way? Oh, we went one too far. That's okay. So iron hard muscles, you gain a natural resistance to damage. Ooh, we'll take that for sure. Okay, cool. And that leaves us 10 points left. Um, so I think what we're going to do with that is um, kind of, well, okay, let's look at the next perk. So this is each heavy attack inflicts 15% more damage. This is when dodging your armor counts as double this is increases the healing effect of consumables and dancers significantly. Uh, heavy shots fired from your bow can push back and knock down enemies. That's very useful. Your basic attacks cost less stamina. That's useful. You have a chance to ignore armor and shield durability loss when hit. Okay, that's all right. And then invulnerability to poisons and diseases. Strength of detrimental status effects are reduced by 20. That's a really good one, too. Boy, I don't know, man. Um... I'm I'm actually believe it or not I'm, I really would like to get this uh, flattening shot. I mean I've used it a lot and it is super useful. Uh, so I think we're gonna we're gonna actually focus on accuracy to get to that next perk and then we'll probably jump back to strength and then keep working on them from there. Okay, I've got over a thousand feet points. It's just crazy, a thousand feet points. And so I don't I'm kind of at the point now where I'm not really spending points until I need something because I mean we can actually do. Uh, master armorer now too which we should actually do that's a tier two armor bench um yeah let's do that let's get that guy upgraded to the to the tier two version um we can do journeyman saddles if we want to i think if we did that that's gonna provide a little more protection for our critters i mean we want to do it anyway right in fact we can even do expert saddle but I don't know if we would have all the resources for that. I really like this um, uh, this Aqualonian saddle here. I don't know if I've ever even looked at the Savage one yet, but I like the Aqualonian one. Anyway, let's not get too sidetracked with that stuff, because that's more bells and whistles and not essentials necessarily. Fashion is, okay, that's mod stuff. Uh, as far as weapons goes, I mean, the next step to, to you know for us is going to be hard and steel, but we can't do anything... Uh, with that until we get black ice. I was thinking about maybe actually doing the ancient shield just because I mean it does 37 health damage versus our 18 of the targe that we're currently using. I just don't like the look of it. But man, that's a significant upgrade. I think we're gonna do it. Let's just do it. Let's go for functionality over fashionality. Is that even a word? Fashionality? I don't know. Um okay, so I don't think there's anything here. I mean we would take these if we had black ice, and we will, you know, be going after that eventually. Same thing for the hardened steel bowl. I did learn the razor arrows and have made a bunch of those, so those are gonna be pretty good arrows. And then yeah, I think we're I think we're pretty good shape. So let's go ahead and make the next uh, the tier two. Oh, we could have also we could also do the alchemy bench too now that I think about it. So let's go Um here. If we just 
do a search on it. Alchemy. Oh, no, right here. Alchemy. Do 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 do. Grandmaster Alchemist. No, we don't want. Uh, no, we don't want Grandmaster. We just want Master. Is it here? Oh, yeah. Improved Alchemist Mitch. We already learned it when we learned the Potion Maker. Okay. So let's make both of those um, benches. So we want the armor. Uh, improved armor's bench. So that's going to be 50, ooh, 50 steel, 150 brick. Okay, let's grab 150 brick out of here. And we'll grab, uh, let's just grab all of that steel and let's continue to transfer more iron over uh, to the steel. I also adjusted my stack size mod too. I basically multiplied it by five. So my, my stacks, instead of 100, are now 500, etc., etc. It's just it's easier. Um, okay, so what are we doing? Oh, alchemy bench, right. Okay, so let's, um, or not alchemy, armor. Okay, let's do that. Now we are going to do also the better alchemy bench. So alchemy, I should have done this before I started the camera, but I just didn't even think about it. Okay, so this is going to require 50 brick, 50 shaped wood, and 50 iron reinforcement. Um, well, we already have the brick, okay. Uh, shaped wood, let's grab 50 of these. And I think the iron, re oh, we have iron reinforcements in here. Okay, so let's grab 50 of those. There we go. And now we can make the improved alchemy bench, which is this one here. Oh, what are we missing? Oh, we don't have 50 brick in our inventory. We have 50 brick, we just don't have our inventory. Let's just pull them all over. Oops, wrong button. Alchemy improved alchemist bench. There we go. Okay, let's pick up everything in here. Uh, oh, I did go and get some silk too. I was gonna maybe wait and do that off cam or on camera for you guys, but it, it, uh, here again, it's just something I needed to do uh, to to do what I needed to do. So I went and got some silk. So I'm I'm sure we'll probably be getting silk uh, again at some point, probably more than once before this is all said and done. Now. There is, I have to, you know, as a, when I, okay, let's start over. <laughs> it's kind of late at night. I should be in bed right now, but I wanted to get this recording out. Uh, as a YouTuber, you know, I always should assume that there's going to be a few people watching that are brand new to the game. And so when I say I wanted to do this on camera for you guys, uh, sometimes the reason for that is just so, you know, people that are new can actually see where to go, how to do that, and, and so on and so forth. So, um, and then sometimes it's going to be more for you know, doing it for role-playing reasons and that sort of thing, too. So, yeah, anyway, there you have it. Let's um, go over here. Okay, now we're going to pick up uh, the alchemy bench. Let's pull everything out of it, pick up the bench. Let's put the improved version down, which is this one. And we want to... Here, let's uh, go into first person so we can... We want to line it up more or less with the torturous table so everything looks nice and tidy there we go okay nothing sticking out on the side nope we're good all right so let's put all the alky alky stuff back in here that i had in there in the first place i think that's it okay and we'll put the tier one back in here now um if i decide to keep this place as an active outpost once we do move you know, then I'll, I'll put all the tier one stuff back in place because we'll be definitely we'll be taking the tier two stuff with us when we when we take off. Okay, so let's see. We need to get our uh, we need to get this repaired. So let's do that. You need leather to repair that. Let's go grab some leather. We got lots and lots and lots of leather. We'll just take a half stack of that. Okay. Now, it is armor time, ladies and gentlemen. It is armor time. I've got all of my tools are upgraded to steel, and all of them have fittings except for the cleaver. I don't use a cleaver very often, so I figured, yeah, I'm not going to put a fitting on it at this point. Let's get rid of that. So we're going to make the slave forged heavy armor, which is going to, which is this black and red stuff. It's really cool. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is make five pieces of heavy padding. Uh, which we should be able to do because we've got a lot of thick leather now. All right, so let's uh, let's do five pieces of that. And then let's see, what else are we going to need? We're probably going to need iron for this. 
I thought about doing the Black Dragon stuff too because it's really cool. But I like the Slave Forest just a little bit better even than the Black Dragon. So we're going to do the Slave Forest. Okay, yeah, so we're going to need iron bars and we have plenty of light leather. So let's say here, iron bars. Let's actually take all of those back out just to make sure we have enough and then I'll put the excess back into the steel furnace. In the meantime, you can work on some bricks. Yeah, okay. Put all that stuff in there. Let's put these other bricks back in here for now. I think we're going to probably actually need one of those horns maybe for the helmet. Okay, so we got the fifth pad there. Very good. All right, now let's go to Slave forged and we want to make the chest piece and the gauntlets and the greaves and the helmet and the boots there we go this is going to be a nice armor upgrade for us uh just by way of comparison my armor currently is 249 of course it's medium armor this is actually a really nice medium uh, set of armor i really like it actually um to the point where i i, I even considered it continuing to visibly wear it you know using fashionless but putting the heavy armor underneath it i don't know we'll see the slave forge is actually really nice looking stuff too okay so now um we've got all the pieces now what we want to do is we want to make uh we got to go over here and we want to make the bulk armor uh fitting the, the thick armor plating so we're going to need 50 thick leather and 25 twine Okay, so let's grab 50 of these and 25 twine, which is actually going to be in here. Okay, yeah, so get that in there and that in there. And then let's make uh, five of those. And uh, we'll put those on our armor and then we'll see... Uh, what the difference is uh, with our armor rating once we get that. It's going to be significantly different. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I press F in this game sometimes um, accidentally, right? And then it loots the whole entire <laughs> container. It's a pain in the butt. It is a pain in the butt, you know? Uh, all right. We next, uh, while we're waiting for that, we're going to make um, the ancient bow. And so, let's see. We, we need actually needed silk and heavy leather to make that. So that is going to be this guy here. This ancient bow does 15 damage. What we're using right now only does 8. So that's going to be almost double the uh, the power. We should be able to make the normal Hyrcanian bow too. We need to really compare this. I think the ancient's going to actually be better though. But let's just double check before we spend resources on something that we might regret. Okay, so this is the Hyrcanian bow. That only does 11. Yeah, well, why did I just learn it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, definitely the ancient bow uh, does 15. So this is going to be what we need. We need six steel bars, too. So let's throw six of those in there. Let's cancel this wood for a second and make ourselves an ancient bow. And that's going to be uh, a really nice uh, bow upgrade for us, along with razor arrows. And, we, you know, we, we got to the next perk in accuracy. So all that together is going to make our, our bow... Our bow shooting uh, significantly better. We'll put a fitting on that, too. Okay, let's get back to making uh, shaped wood with the rest of that stuff. How are we doing on our bulk plating? They are all done. Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, this is normally 112 armor with the plating on it. It is now 150. Oh, that doesn't boost it that much. Oh, well, whatever. It's every little bit helps. Okay, so we're 249 now. Now let's put all of this on. And that brings us up to 470. Okay, so we almost doubled our armor uh, rating, which is going to help significantly. See, this is a pretty cool armor. Uh, this is what the helmet looks like. I don't really care a ton for the helmet. I mean, I guess it's okay. I don't know. It, it's, it's a little weird. <laughs> but the armor in general is really a really nice looking armor set. I like it quite a bit. So we're, we're not going to show the helmet. We're going to keep the helmet hidden. Um, at some point, OG might um, uh, might change his hairstyle too, I think. there I can make like a mirror thing. Um, well, actually, I think you can make the... What the hell is that thing called? Um, this thing. 
orb of Nurgle, and that lets you actually change the way your dude looks. Uh, just just to change things up, I don't know. He he might want to put his hair up back in a ponytail, or even cut it, make it shorter. We'll see. Uh, not important right now though. Okay, so for the bow, uh, we want to make the. Uh, let's see. We want to make the the what the hell is it called? The weapon something kit. Not that. Um, why can't I think of what what it's called? Not the reinforcement kit. It's the weapon something 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 something. See that that was very clear, wasn't it? The weapon something something. Do wait a minute. Do I? Oh, you know what? I'm thinking of Grandmaster stuff, which I don't have yet. That's why I'm confused. Okay, well, we'll we're just gonna put a an ad no. We're not gonna even put an advance because we have. We're gonna have to go get some some black ice, you guys. We are gonna. We'll, we'll just put the weapon damage kit on the bow then, and that'll bump it up another point or two. Okay, so the bow currently does uh, 15 damage. If we add this to it, it now does 19. Oh, that added four points to it. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to retire our old bow. Uh, like I said, we got razor arrows now. So, yeah, our bow should actually, whoops, pack a punch. Uh, I've got more. Oh, i got quite a few more razor arrows. Let's take about half of those because otherwise it's going to get heavy. All right. Speaking of which, right, um, let's put this steel in there. We'll put this iron back in here so we can continue our steel production uh, let's store our original armor set in here it served us well it looks good but it's time for us to move up uh, we're going to store our old bow there too I don't think I'm going to carry the iron pick anymore because this pickaxe can double as a pick it's just ex an extra slot back for us and a tiny bit less weight let's keep Ten of those. Um, try that again. Ten of those. There we go. And let's top off our potion at ten as well. So that means we want to go to... See, the stack size increased, but the it doesn't mean you can carry more weight. I mean, some mods actually do it that way, but I don't have that set. I just only have the stack sizes set. All right. So the last thing we need to do is build the ancient shield, which I don't like the way it looks but it is going to be a significant improvement on our shield damage because uh, the heavy attacks with the axe there's like three different attacks in succession and one of them actually attacks with the shield so um, yeah we want to we want to do that so let's see what do we need we need three shaped wood and then we will be in as good a shape as we can possibly be with our current uh, resources and abilities. Okay, let's craft the ancient shield. And we're going to want to put uh, a reinforcement kit on there because you can't put damage kits on shields. What did I just do that for? Uh, so in this case, we want an advanced. No, we don't just want a normal re uh, reinforcement kit right there. Okay. All right, we are ready for the purge, guys. What's it looking like? Yeah, it's it's definitely not going to happen in this episode unless, like I said, I cut the camera and then come back later. Um, so that means we have to decide what our next course of action is, which might actually be the dregs. Uh, we might actually go ahead and run the dregs, our first dungeon, OG's first dungeon. Uh, okay. So yeah, this does 37 health damage with 13 armor pin versus 18 and 12. So that is a nice upgrade for us too, even though the shield is not my favorite. I mean, it's it's okay, I guess. It's not that I don't like the way it looks so much. It's just too big. I wish it was smaller because it covers up so much, you know. But anyway, uh, let's put the iron targe away. We're probably done with that. And... I have some uh, some more exotic fish in here. Uh, this is high-grade food, so I switched from the steaks to this. Let's eat a piece of that. I have been doing the dairy pulp, uh, dairy pulp, desert berry pulp, but it's low-grade, so I have to actually drink a bunch from. So I don't even. I, I'm going to drink those up, and then I'm not going to make any more of those because I can get more water just from my uh, from my water skin, right? 
Okay, um, so I think we're good to go, man. I think we are ready to rock and roll. -a. Let's get, um, let's get this down here and our steel pick down here on our toolbar. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put those on the toolbar. Oh, it's nighttime. My my house is so bright here, I never even realized it. Looks like, is it getting to be daytime, or is it dusk? Is it dusk or dawn? That's what I'm trying to ask. I don't see the moon moving across the sky, so I'm thinking it's probably dawn. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, let's see. What should we do? Um, We've got a bunch of critters that we really do need to train up. Oh, we got to make saddles. That's what we need to do. Okay. Let's make the... We, we need to make two things of Terranian fodder. I don't know if we're going to get into roleplay today or not, guys. We'll see how things go. I just have so much stuff to do, right? Um, so we need gruel, yellow lotus, and aloe leaves to make these... Oh, shit. I was supposed to do that before I set them down. Uh, you know what? Actually, we'll, we should be okay. Because I can... I can pick them back up. Why does that have a cooldown of 120 minutes? We are on a single player game. That doesn't matter. Let me go into... Okay, first thing I'm going to have to do is go here. Go into admin mode. Then I do a shift uh, insert. Go to the cheat panel. No, not that. That's not right. I want to do a shift delete. I just accidentally deleted my elephant. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh, no! No! That's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to bring up the the mod menu. Oh, no! You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, man. That was not smart on my part. Fuck. I'm tempted to take a mulligan and just spawn a new one in because I did not mean to do that. Absolutely did not mean to do that. But oh, it was my own stupid mistake, though. Okay, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna take my licks and just just live with it. Fuck, man. Sorry, man. I don't usually say that word, but that is just frustrating as all get out. But it is what it is. What can you do? Okay. Anyways, what I was trying to do is press Shift End, not Shift Delete. <clears throat> Okay, move on, move on. All right, we want to go to better thralls, um, uh, server settings, enable pickup, but I'm, I'm removing the cooldown. That's a, more of a PvP or, well, or multiplayer thing, and I get it for that, but this is a single-player game. It's only me. Who gives a shit how many times I want to pick up my animals? Now, one thing about that, though, is when you do pick up an um, animal or a thrall, it completely resets their stats back to zero, which in this case doesn't matter because... Um, oh, it doesn't matter because we haven't leveled them yet. If you've leveled them, then you lose all the levels and you have to start all over again, which sometimes might be desirable if you want to, if you got bad rolls, and you want to just reset them. Oh, that so sucks about our elephant. I don't think we can put anything on the mammoth. Man, I'm glad I didn't kill the mammoth. I've never had a mammoth before. That was a really lucky roll. So, yeah. Uh, okay. So, shit. Um, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I was like, oh, no. Okay, so we need a gruel uh, and a yellow lotus blossom, which should be over here. And we have gruel in here. I don't know why I made all that gruel, because I'm not ready to use it yet. But Okay, so we should be able to make one of these. All right, now. If we come back here. Still can't believe I screwed up my frickin' rhino. That is so bad. Okay, this is the... that's No, that's the elephant. I don't know what the difference is between all of these different Terranian rhinos. There's four different options. I mean, from the icon, they all look the same. It doesn't give any indication as to which one does which. So, I guess we'll choose the first one. 
There we go. That's cool. So that makes him look like uh, a caravan rhino. Oh, he's got as many slots as the elephant did. I didn't know that. Oh, nice. Okay, I thought this was purely decoration, but that actually, because rhinos only usually only have two, I think, two rows like horses. I think. Maybe I'm not right about that. Okay, well, we're going to... Hmm, can I put a normal saddle on him and ride him, though, too? Uh, only one way to find out, right? All right. I, I put my saddle table away because I didn't have room for it, so where's it at? Saddler's work table. If I, if I moved this over... Nah, well, let's not mess with that. We'll just put the... Saddler's table out here, use it, and then pick it back up when we're done. Okay, so what do we need to make the rhino? I'm just going to make the the cheap... Well, what does this require? Yeah, 60 silk. I'm just going to make the cheap saddle because I want to make sure it's actually going to work. I don't want to make the, the more expensive one and then not be able to use it kind of thing because this is the only rhino I'm planning on getting. Okay, so we need... Uh, 20 twine, 68 iron, and 50 leather. Twenty twi uh, twine. Let's grab all of this iron and move it over except for 68. And I can't remember how much leather, so let's just grab that much. Oh, we're in cupboard. Okay. Um, it needed 50 leather. Okay. So let's do... Let's just put 50 in exactly so I don't have to wait here for it to finish. Uh, all right, so Rhino Travel Saddle Light. Okay, let's get that crafting. <laughs> Gotta put all this leather back away. It's too heavy. Easy there, big fella. All right, let's put that stuff away. I'm just going to toss this. Here, let me look in his inventory. Oh, no, he doesn't have a saddle slot anymore. We traded him uh, as a riding rhino for a hauling rhino. All right, fair enough, fair enough. I mean, it's not like I need to ride him. I got the horse. The only thing about the rhino is you can actually fight with him. Uh, I mean, technically you can with the horse too, but it's kind of lame the way they did that. All right, well, we made ourselves a useless rhino saddle. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll maybe we'll get another rhino at some point. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's just put this away. Okay, so we'll put that back there, and uh, let's put the rhino saddle in here. This is kind of more like the equipment bin, sort of, kind of. Um, actually, you know what? Wait, since I changed my stack size, we could put those things, all of these things can go um, in the alchemy table. Now we have lots more room. I don't want to carry that many potions because it's just too much weight. Okay, so... Let's see here. We're already 33 minutes into this episode, and I feel like I haven't even done... I mean, I've done a lot, but I haven't done anything... I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> We've done a lot of house housework types of items. But, I mean, we did need to get upgraded uh, into our, our badass-looking armor with our shitty-ass-looking shield. Um, I don't... Is there a... Uh, there needs to be a way to... No, that's not what I want. There needs to be a way to hide the shield off, or make it so your shield doesn't show up on your back. I don't know. Is there a way to do that? Uh, I think if I take it off my toolbar, then it disappears. Yeah, okay. So we, we just, I mean, the next time we equip it, then it's going to appear again. That even might be in the vanilla settings. I don't really don't know, but... Okay, I think what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take all these critters out with us and start leveling them. Uh, the purge, yeah, the purge definitely is not going to happen in this episode. 
Um, let's save the dregs for a future episode. Um, because I want to, you know, I want to definitely uh, work role playing into that. Uh, you know, when we do that dungeon and all the other dungeons for that matter. So, yeah. Uh, I don't think you can put a saddle on a mammoth. Nope, you can't. Okay. So, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of uh, better thralls. And we're going to have everybody follow us except for Crikey. Frankie's fully leveled. We don't need him to come with us. But everybody else is going to come with us. And we're going to get some levels on our guys. Well, there could be gals here too. Guys and gals. Uh, we're going to take Rock with us too so we can ride if need be. And I'm trying to think where a good place to do this is going to be. We could go slaughter some Defar... Ooh, you know what we could do? We could go to the summoning place and just tear apart the Defari and try and find a medicine man. But that means then I'm putting him on the wheel and then the purge is going to come. Unless unless we put the wheel away from the house. Like up here somewhere. I don't think they would attack it, would they? Eh, I don't know. Let, let's just hold off. Let's just hold off. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, so if if we were in the end game right now, I would take these critters in like some place like the Warmaker dungeon to level him, but eh, we're not quite ready to do that yet. <laughs> so, I mean, technically we could. We're over level 60, but that would be quite the fight. We do have we do have the big boss croc and we could get a legendary, but man, none of these guys have any levels. We better take we better handle a little bit easier stuff first before we start going after uh, the bosses. Plus the fact that I've got to defeat that boss with one, you know, with one follower first anyways, because that's the rules of our series. Um, I don't know if Crikey and I could take him together. I'd rather have a leveled up probably Tiger or maybe even the Mammoth. I don't know. The Mammoth, see the thing about the Mammoth though is he does the charge attacks and he's, because he, I think he has the same attacks as Elephant. And I'm sure he packs a punch, but he's not a fast attacking critter. And if he charges like the the boss croc and misses him, then you know it was like wasted effort. Meanwhile, the boss croc is chewing on my ass, kind of thing. So I'm almost thinking I'd rather have a leveled up tiger to help me uh, the first time with the boss croc. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking. Um, let's let's take on these rock noses. I want to see how my axe does against uh, the rock noses. The iron axe hardly touched them, but this one might. Well, unless we miss. Yeah, this one does damage to him. It's still not nothing like what the mace will do. Um, if I put the mace down here, the mace will just wreck this guy. See? <laughs> so, okay. Let's keep going on up here. Yeah, we're, we're going to pick um, easy targets for now. Um, so there's a bunch of rock noses along here. I mean, we could still go hit the Defari camp. The you know, well, there's a smaller Defari camp over here. Let's go. Yeah, let's go mess with those guys. Summoning place is might be a bit much for these guys. If they were fully leveled, it wouldn't be nothing at all. But they're not fully leveled, so there is a scorpion boss over there too. But here again, I don't think I want to attempt that all right let's take out these defaris here look at the damage we just did with that nice <laughs> the tiger just got it those tigers are doing to to him what they were doing to me yesterday except for now they're my tigers the corner of bones. There we go. Yeah, once we get that next perk, we'll have the knockdown on these guys and it'll knock them right on their ass. I've actually killed the arena champion with my bow doing that. Level one carpenter. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Is that everybody? I think so. Uh, there's probably a chest somewhere. Yeah, let's see. What do we got in here? Uh, we'll take the purified water and... I'll take the iron arrows and the bones for the grinder. I don't think I want any of the rest of that stuff. Okay. Let's go this way. I think that, yeah, that scorpion boss is right there. Boy, I don't know, man. How many points do you have now? You're level 3. You're already up to 3784. You have 1598. You have 1284. Yeah, we, uh, I don't know. I mean, we could probably do it and probably be okay, but there's always that chance we could lose one of them or I myself get killed, you know, so. Of course, we're in heavy armor, too. I mean, if I was really careful, I could probably kill that scorpion boss by myself. The mammoth shakes the ground. Okay. This is uh, the the Tower of Bats for any of you who may not know that. We'll go up there at some point because that's going to be... We have to do something important to the storyline and our role-playing adventure. Um, so it's significant uh, from that standpoint. But yeah, this is just not going to be a role-playing episode. Uh, we will get back to it hopefully in the next one. For those of you who may not know this... Um, the whole idea behind the purges in Conan are that, um, I'm trying to figure out how to, how to say this without giving too much away because here again on the assumption that some of you may be, you know, new to the game and I don't want to give away spoilers. Yeah, I, okay, never mind. I'm not going to say anything right now. We'll talk about it later once uh, it's I, once I feel like it's a little more or a little less spoilerish is what I'm trying to say. So, sorry, but forget I said anything. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go up here. We got some more rock noses. I could, you know, harvest some of this stuff, but r right now I just want to focus on getting some levels on these guys. Look at the iron up here. Isn't it crazy? Uh, I want to focus on getting levels on these guys before the purge, so that's our main goal right now. Yeah, there is so much iron around here, it's just crazy. Okay, let's jump on rock here and go back this direction. We could probably hit the summoning place and be fine. I don't know. There's some smaller Defari camps that we could hit for sure. Let's go this way. You know what? This might be a big mistake, but YOLO. We're just going to YOLO here. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to tell everybody to stop following, except for you. Um, so you follow me. And let's just see if we can take the scorpion out, because there's a legendary chest there that we'll get. So now, here again, I mean, this guy is badass he's gonna hit hard but he's got a hit for it to matter <laughs> so I don't know I might this I might end up being the one that does all the damage here but we'll see how it goes uh, let's start off with some bow shots too just to soften him up a tad bit all right our first boss of the game 
See, he did his charge and he completely misses him, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, now, what we want to try and do, if we can get the mammoth to get his attention for a second. There we go. Um, then I can put some bleeds on him, but I want his attention on the mammoth, not on me. There you go, mammoth. Get some hits in. He's still pissed at me for hitting him with a bow. Okay, he's on... Oh, shit! Ouch. Okay. Alright, let's get some stacks on him. Okay, get out of the way. Okay, now he's pissed at me because I did all the stack damage. Charge? No, nope, he missed. Yeah. The tigers would have done helped more, but the tigers are a lot you know, weaker than the mammoth health wise. So we're just gonna uh, yeah, I gotta try and watch for that move because yeah, let's pop a potion. Let's let the mammoth build up a little more. Yeah, he's already at half health though. Okay, let's get in and get some stacks going here. Okay, pop a pot. Get some stamina back. He's got a cripple on him. Oh shit, he keeps getting me with that tail swipe. Okay, come on, Mammoth. Get his attention. Okay. Let's do a hit and then a roll. A hit and then a roll. Watch our stamina. This is... Every single time he hits me with a frickin' tailspin, man. Okay, let's try some some archery. We're barely touching him though. Oh, how the hell did he hit me? Come on, that's hacks. Unless it was a tail swipe again. Okay, mammoth's on him. Oh, good. Mammoth got a nice charge off on him too. I think he just did his tail swipe thing too again. Okay. Yep, he got me again. You mother. Okay, we're going to have to get a little more aggressive, but we've got to mind our stamina. Okay, good. We rolled out of the way. We got some... Uh, we got some... Uh, what the hell are they called the rolls where you're impervious to damage when you're rolling? I can't remember. Iframes. Get some stamina. Ow! Yeah, we might we might have been further ahead to risk one of the tigers. But it is what it is. I mean, we've started the battle. we got to finish it. It's got 13 stacks. Oh, I can't see what's going on. Damn, it's in the way. Ah, you missed me, sucker. <laughs> OG's biggest battle so far. Tail swipe missed. Okay, we just about got him half down. And good, he's back on the mammoth. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get in front of him. Come on, mammoth, hit him. Oh, shit, my mammoth's almost dead. Okay, I need to tell you um, to get out of here. Here, go. Leave. 
I forgot to set him as a sidekick so I can't send him home. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna die. No. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Over here, over here. Um. Well, there goes. <laughs> there goes our rabbit. Oh, that was a mistake. Ah, uh, I've lost my elephant and my mammoth all in one episode. For Pete's sake. Well, I knew it was the. I knew it was a risk. It was a calculated risk, and I did not calculate very well, did I? Okay. Well, we're gonna. It's up to us to kill this bastard then, because I'm not gonna call in a new pet. I think that would be cheaty. We can get him. We just have to mind our stamina and watch out for that tail swing. That's the thing that gets us all the time. We got 10 stacks of bleed on him, which is good. Was that the tail swing? No. Yeah. That's the tail swing! Ah, we didn't get away from it. I was trying to iframe it. Ow! Okay, we are in bad shape. Come on, stamina. Son of a bitch. Okay, let's run further out and pop one of these. Okay, we've got to be really careful here. How did you hit me? Gotta get my stamina back. We're down to one potion after this one. I think that was a tail swing. Okay, we're at full stamina. And we're gonna take our last pot. We're gonna take it while we can. You never know. Well, now I have bandages, but bandages are gonna be tough because... I framed out of that. Okay. Stamina, stamina, stamina. I frame. <laughs> we escaped this tail swipe. We don't have any stamina left, but we escaped this tail swipe. Can't believe I killed my mammoth. Well, actually, I can. <laughs> we better get one hell of a damn good legendary weapon out of this, man. That's all I got to say. Yeah! Oh, good. I framed. <laughs> We're gonna get you, you bastard. You're gonna die. Just waiting for my stamina. Okay, let's take a couple hits. And I frame. Nope, we didn't get out of it that time. Roll. Okay. We got 17 stacks of bleed on him. And he's crippled. Okay, and he's got a full 20. Nice. Wait for stamina. Okay, we gotta hit him again so we don't lose our bleed stacks. Yeah! Okay. Yeah, you know, the more I think about it, the mammoth was kind of more of a novelty than a practical fighter just because here again his attacks are just they're not reliable I guess is the word there we go I framed out of that one. Oh, didn't I frame out of that one you begin to feel dizzy from thirst yeah this is not a good time for that to happen he's almost dead it's the bleed stacks man Oh, that was close. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. We are hurting. Let the bleed take him out. <laughs> oh, bittersweet experience, man. Bittersweet experience. So, yeah, I mean, it sucks that the mammoth died. It really does. But on the other hand, he was cool, but he's just not practical. And... So I kind of feel bad about it, and then I, then again, I kind of don't. So that's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, let's harvest this guy, 
and we got the skeleton key and let's see what we get come on game give us something good our first legendary I have the con all right I'll take that whoops um, so this does 23 damage with 9 armor penetration versus 19 with 8 yeah plus we can put a, a damage fit on this to boost it even more so that, that was a nice find I'll take it I will absolutely take it okay well our first boss kill guys I am now eligible to come back and farm this boss with as many thralls slash followers as I want to so there you go uh, but I did defeat that boss the first time, well, ultimately by myself. <laughs> we lost our poor rabbit, though. Um, can I harvest him and get some some elephant hide? I don't know if I can. Let's take a look. Yep, I sure can. We got an elephant carcass, too. So that we're going to put in... Um, either the grinder or the press, one of them. And we should get some blood and bones and that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, I I kind of feel bad about it, but then again, I don't. I mean, we're, we're going to get some more elephants and tame them up because I want them more for caravan purposes and role-playing purposes for hauling stuff, um, even though we got the rhino too. And I hope we don't actually get another mammoth in the process of doing that because they're just not, not very practical. Okay, we've gained a level. Let's take a look and see. We got 66 points. Can we get this to... The next, the knockdown. Oh, oh man, we're just one click away from it. Okay, flattening shot. All right, well, um, let's do this. Everybody follow. Yeah, we've we've gone really long. So, all right, you guys. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Uh, and I'm just gonna keep taking these these critters around and just attacking small defari camps i won't do the sinkhole off camera that's something that we're going to want to do on camera we can go attack these birds down here attack some more rock and just going to try and get their levels up we are yeah we're getting close so we, we very well might be doing the purge in the next episode we'll just have to see how things go but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we will see you in the next one, and we will continue the roleplay. Don't worry, it just didn't work out in this episode. All right, guys, have a good one. See you later. Bye-bye.